All right, man. Well, Alfie, man, I appreciate the time uh, you coming on. Uh, I know you're in the midst of camp getting ready for this fight. Uh, thank you so much. You know, how has uh, camp been going? How long has your camp been? Yeah, uh, camp's all year round really here. So um, I've been cutting weight though. That's The only thing that changes is the weight. The weight will come down and the intensity of training will go up. Um, but yeah, that in terms of fitness, it will go. Apart from that, I've been training all year, but it's it it's got it's intensified maybe uh about six weeks ago um but yeah also thank you for having me on oh no doubt no doubt man uh talking about getting the weight down you know like what is your protocol how do you do it are you just the type of guy that goes old school and you're just like i just got to do the cardio or do you have a dietitian or do you take care of your own diet what's going on with that yeah so it's it's a lot to do with diet um, also, the the cardio will increase. Um, I've played around a lot with my diet over my career, um, and I, I do have I've had uh, various guys help me out. I've currently um, got a guy, uh, animalistic nutrition. He um, he's with the Lockout and Leaf. He gave me a meal plan. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty similar to uh, what I've been doing. It's just yeah, porridge chicken stir fries and omelets but it's just maintaining and making sure that i'm bringing the food down uh slowly slowly and then the, yeah the weight comes off but that's the hustle that's what that's where i uh, earn my money i like to think definitely man well that's the i think the diet is the hardest part out of anything as a fighter probably right is it hard for you yeah wait it starts off initially hard then you start to enjoy it mm-hmm. and then like because you feel your body becoming a bit of a machine off it and then the last few weeks it becomes tough again so it's an up or down it's like yeah there's a peak to it and then then it starts to come down and then you just can't wait to weigh in um so I, i'll get to that stage by the end of this week i'll be like oh just get me to the weigh-ins now but at the minute i'm i'm feeling good my weight when i lose weight i become a lot fitter and i feel like i'm flying in training so that's happened and that's quite an addictive feeling um but now yeah i just wanna i just wanna uh weigh in eventually now before we get into you know your bellator career so far i wanted to go back a little bit to phoenix fc that's when i actually saw you fight for the first time during you know your you know during your tour with them now phoenix they had a lot of problems you know, and I've talked to, spoken with many fighters that fought for Phoenix. Did you have any problems getting paid by them? No, I was quite fortunate, to be honest with you. Um, they paid me. Um, mm. But the, the the sort of the show that they went bust on, I was mm. due to fight. And then, yeah, we, we pulled out. I had a little niggling injury, so I pulled out. So I was lucky that I, I avoided it. Um, but to be honest, the, the owner and stuff treated me well. So mm. I've, I've got no complaints about Phoenix. Um, but I've heard of other people because uh, the company went bust. I've heard of the other people not not getting paid from it. So that's unfortunate. But yeah, from me, my personal view, I was quite lucky there. Yeah, definitely, man. Well, you know, a lot of guys they were treated really well by Phoenix. It's just that you know the pay wasn't there for some of them. But you know, at least you got yours. Yeah, yeah, I was quite <laughs> lucky. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. be uh, I'm flying over there. Why it's not? <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, Bellator, man, you're three, you know, undefeated, two, de- two, you know, dominant decisions, one finish. You know, how do you feel? How different do you feel as a fighter compared to your promotional debut in 2017? I feel like, yeah, I've I've developed a lot in uh, all aspects of there. I feel like my my grappling's definitely increased tenfold. Striking has also improved. I've been able to. Um, yeah, I've been able to adapt my style. Um, before I was, I was coming in as just a sort of general, um, like light continuous kickboxer. But I've got the the ability to change up my style now if required, um, and I think that that that's needed in, in certain fights. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely happy with the way my career's been going. Your last fight, man, there was uh, that illegal kick. You know, in the last fight, you know, everybody probably asks you about it all the time. You know, were there any like ill effects after, you know, the 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 event from that kick? No, it was I was all right actually. Oh, okay, I was all right. Yeah, I was my my group was all right. Was, uh, <laughs> yeah, I often uh, massage that area, so I got sick, 
sufficient blood flow back to uh, help recovery, you know. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. No. That's great to hear, Ben. Uh, you know, it's it, it would be terrible if, you know, something actually, like, came from that, you know what I mean? Something negative, as in, you know, an injury or something like that. Now, has that was that the first time you ever felt, uh, I mean, dealt with uh, a dirty fighter? You know, somebody doing something dirty in a fight to you? Um, I suppose, yeah, he was dirt. Yeah, to be honest with you, most likely. I've, I've had people aggressive. Uh, and there's always a bit of gamesmanship, you know, that people will want to hold the, hold, the, hold the gloves, hold the game. People talk shit. So that's that's always – there's been a few fights where that's happened, where I've had to talk shit back. But, yeah, in terms of, like, cheating, like straight-out cheating, yeah, he was – even at the weigh-ins, he was a bit of a vicious one. Um, but it's all right. I spin an elbow with him and put him on the canvas. So I gave him what for. Yeah. He's just I, – I would, I would have liked to have put his lights out fully, but – this is the game sometimes i was coasting a bit i was i was enjoying just almost dancing in there with with the little midget but next time I, if it it wouldn't be a next time because he's not going to get there but if there was a next time i'll put him i'll put his lights out and bounce his head off the canvas but anyway it's done now i beat him i elbowed him in the head and that was it right now it seems like bellator has almost all of the the, the top level lightweights in the UK, you're one of them. Do you feel that way? I think so, yeah. They've um with with the European series they've they've managed to get in early with some some guys that were, were tipped to be signed to uh, some other bigger promotions and, and they was there early um, offering the right money and some some fighters they might have picked a bit early but then they've allowed them to blossom. So yeah it's quite tough because I don't think the UFC have signed many many UK lightweights recently, um, so it's all ended up in Bellator. So I think, yeah, the the seeds are going to blossom soon, and it's going to be a good, especially European uh, fight fight league. I, you know, I'm excited for the the UK guys to go over there to stateside and and challenge some of those big names, man. Do you do you have any of those guys in your in your you know in your sights like uh, you know a lightweight over there like man, I need to fight that guy soon. Like next year or yeah, so. I like, yeah, I like to fight Pitbull. Either mm-hmm. of the Pitbull brothers. Uh, I, I personally thought Ryan Scope uh, beat the worst Pitbull and then there's the better Pitbull that's the champ so I'd like to fight him. So hopefully next year I can get one of them. Um I'm not too interested in the, the like American wrestlers. Again, I, I have to beat a few of them up on the way, but I'm I'm just I'm a bit more of a Diaz fan. I, I think it's a bit boring the way they're just holding and just holding on the legs. I like to yeah try and finish. So, but yeah, I can I can beat up some of them Roy Deads if they want it. But apart from that, yeah, I'm uh, I'm easy. But the pit bulls is what I'm coming for. After this fight, I've got a few names that I want to call out on the European circuit. But then I'm going to be the dog handler your last fight was i believe in june you know what have you been doing since then because i'm pretty sure you've been healthy you probably have been wanting to get into the cage and fight have you been you know telling bellator like man get me in or is it just like conflict of in, uh, dates or whatever yeah a bit of that it was a uh, we was get i was gonna find the the irish card there's an irish card but the way that it worked is that it was only like a month apart from the London card, and obviously I'm a hometown boy, so it's good to fight on the London card. I enjoy fighting on the London card; it saves me travelling. So for a month's difference, um, I don't mind doing that. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, it just worked out with opponents and stuff. How 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 their sort of schedule worked out, um, well, with my original opponent, um, but he unfortunately had to pull out. So now I've got a. An, an Italian that I'm going to have to beat up. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy with the way it is. I've had, this will be my third fight this year uh, for Bellator, so I can't really complain. Um, I know certain other promotions sideline people for giving them like one fight a year. So the next year I want to have five fights and um, yeah, then I'm looking to take the title on. Miles Price, he pulled out? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, is, when did that happen? Yeah, it happened last week, so... Oh, I've got okay. uh, Italian, um, good Italian though. Good, uh, Alessio. I can't pronounce his second name. Terry Brazer fought him last time. Um, oh, yeah. So yeah, I'm not sure why Miles pulled out, but 
it happens. It's the fight game. But the Italian I'm fighting is good. He's got he's had thirty fights, so he's not one to um, to to brush under the carpet. Uh, it's going to be a tough fight, and I'm looking forward to it. Were you kind of disappointed that you're not fighting Miles, man? Miles is a you know a decent name because he just recently beat uh, Peter uh, Queeley, and Peter Queeley is you know one of the top guys. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been good because that would have set me up. Because mm-hmm. when I would have beaten Miles, I know there's a Dublin card in February, and then Peter's a big name out there. They love him, and it's the McGregor effect. So mm-hmm. I would, he would he would want my scalp after I've beaten the guy that beat him. So that would set me up for a good fight. But after this fight, it's still gonna I'm still going for Peter Queeley. So mm-hmm. February, he can hear it now if he wants, but I'm still going to be calling him out, um, and that would be a great fight for me February. Um, and then from there, maybe I'll be the dog handler. You know, in this camp, you know, leading up to uh, Bellator 235, you know, who have you been working with closely to kind of sharpen yourself up, you know, to perform in the cage? Yeah, so it's all, all the guys that shoot fighters. <laughs> so we've got uh, the guys that are on the card with me, Michael Shipman, Michael Page. Um, I've got some great grapplers around me, Felix. Um, we've got the Basharat brothers coming through. Um who else have I been rolling with? Various guys. Like, there's some very good young talent that are just very good grapplers um, and some like, pro boxers coming in. Um, so it's just been a it's just been a pool of people at the best of what they're doing, and um, I am very very happy with, with my camp so far. Where do you rank yourself? Do you think you know? I know there's no rankings in the in the lightweight division, but where do you rank yourself? You know, among the UK guys. Yeah, I think I'm the best in the UK. I think I'm the best lightweight in Europe. Um, I think I've got a little bit of work to be the best in the world, and there's no doubt about that. But I can't really see a European name that's better than me. Um, so yeah, I think I'm the best. After this, you mentioned that you're going to call out some names. You know, like where do you want to be? At the end of 2020, like, what's your plans? What are your uh, your goals? Yeah, I want to be considered for title contention. Mm-hmm. So, I think in February, hopefully, I'll get the Peter Queeley fight. Um, that'd be a great fight for me. Yeah, so then I'll beat him up, and then maybe I'll take on the worst pit bull. That'll be a good <laughs> headliner. And then he'll be upset that I've beat up his brother. So, then I'll take on the smaller midget pit bull. And then that would be cool. There might be some fights in between, don't get me wrong. But by the end of 2020, I want to be in title contention. And I believe that I'll be the, the champion by 2021. Let's say you go in there, you know, you get a quick finish. You know, nothing's wrong with you. Would you be interested in coming back, you know, at, on that New Year's Eve card in Japan? Oh, that would be amazing. I'd love to fight in Japan. Uh, that's what's one of my dreams. To be honest, I'm I'm so happy that Bellator are, are doing cross promotion. Yeah. Um, obviously, from prior days, I, I watch a lot of Risen, um, and there, yeah, it's just it, that that yeah. culture and just the respect for martial arts. Um, that would be my ideal ideal uh, ending to the year. Um, so even even after fighting in European um, mm-hmm. soil. Again, America's. I'd like to do America, but Japan's top of the list. That's 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 what one of my dreams for sure. All right, man. Well, November twenty third, man. You step back into that cage in London. Thank you so much, Alfie, for the time, man. Uh, good luck on the fight and the rest of the year. Happy holidays, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All the best. <laughs>